Minister has shared that our expert committee on COVID-19 vaccines, or EC19V for short, is studying recommendations to introduce COVID-19 vaccinations for children between the age of 5 and 11 years. We will not be the first country to consider doing so. The US FDA has already approved the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine for children in this age group, and other countries are following suit, as they too have seen high numbers of children being infected. The dose recommended for children is only one-third of the adult, full adult dose. But this dose has, in the clinical studies, been shown to be as effective as the full dose administered in adults. The reduced pediatric dose has also been associated with a low risk of side effects, which attests to the safety of the revised vaccination regime for children. The side effects were similar to that seen in a vaccination of adults, and mainly comprise local reactions like pain, swelling, redness, or more systemic effects like fever, headaches, muscle and joint aches, or diarrhea. A small proportion of children experience allergic reactions which resolved with treatment, and the rate was not higher than that seen in the adult population. In particular, there were no cases of myocarditis reported with the revised pediatric regime in the study. And the data suggests that the pediatric regime is safe, which is why both the US CDC and FDA have approved extending COVID-19 vaccines using the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine to children between 5 and 11 years. We are studying whether we can provide vaccinations for children between 5 and 11 years using the existing Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine vials that we have supplied to us. And we are confident that vaccination using these vials will be effective and safe. The study we are embarking on, which Minister has shared, involving uh, several hundred children, is mainly to see how we can best operationalize our processes and efficiently extract the desired reduced doses for children once EC19V confirms its recommendations for vaccinating the larger proportion of children between these age groups. Once we are able to do so consistently, we will then be able to provide an extended national vaccination program that gives parents the added assurance that their children can be further protected against getting a severe COVID-19 infection.